How are we doing, guys? Um, welcome back to another vlog episode. Um, nice, calm setting. Got my tea. <sighs> Great day. Um, this episode is very important, I think. Um, loyalty is a beautiful story. His story is very beautiful, where he started in a foster home, and now he has, he, he has his own business. He's an entrepreneur, gives back to the community. Um, he's very well respected within the group community. So I, I love this story because some people think that they have to, some people think that they need a great beginning to get where they need to go. But loyalty is a prime example of wherever you start, it doesn't matter, it's where you finish and where you're trying to get to. Yeah, the loft. Um, I just need you to do one thing as well, though. You see that thing on the bottom down there? It's like it says subscribe, and to like, and to comment. Turn that notification bell on. I need you to do that. That'd be very nice. Yeah. Hello. Tune in. Sit back. Enjoy. Alright. Welcome back to the Law Podcast. Welcome back to the Law Podcast. Season 3. With a very important, I think, um, relentless, intelligent, creative human being in the building right now. But before we get to this great human, we're going to introduce the room. We have the one and only K Twist in the building. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We also got the one and only Josh Graz in the building. I don't have my mic back, but it, this works for now. This works for now. <laughs> this works. For now. This works. <laughs> we got to get you your mic. I need my mic back. You <laughs> need your mic back. Respectfully. But today we have um, the one and only uh, Loyalty. How you doing? I'm doing good, brother. How are you? How <laughs> you doing, King? I'm doing good. I feel I'm you're enjoying. having a good day today. I am having an, uh, an amazing day today. I love that. Because your energy, your energy coming in, energy just chatting before this was yeah, great. Man. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you guys for having me. I appreciate y'all. Definitely. So let's just start from the as as the beginning as we can. Where are you originally from? So um, originally, I'm actually from New Jersey. Okay. Uh, and I was sent from New Jersey to upstate New York and Utica, New York, mm -hmm. at the House of Shepherd. Really? So yeah. you were you were born and not born and raised, but you were raised in. The House of Good Shepherd. Well, yeah, I mean, from six on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But before six, I actually was in Newark, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was, you know, they had some situations, and they ended up taking me from there over to uh, to the House of Good Shepherd. Wow. So how was your upbringing, you'd say, for yourself? You know, I would say my upbringing was very um, transitional. Mm hmm uh, I would say it was very, uh, it's kind of like every lion for himself. Yeah. Uh, I grew up with a bunch of brothers. Yeah. And I grew up with a bunch of mothers yeah. on top of that. And I think there's a certain <clears throat> connection when you grow up with other orphans. Yeah. Uh, I think we kind of bond differently. Mm -hmm. uh, there was definitely uh, rough nights. Okay. For sure. Okay. Uh, definitely the whole, like, you know, uh, crab in a barrel sort of vibe. Yeah. Um, but overall, I would say that it was definitely love and it was family. I, and it was a strong sense of brotherhood. Yeah. That's, you know. Yeah. How, how, when, what age do you think you actually realize that you're in an orphanage? Oof. When did it so, sit, settle down? All right. So the first night, I re actually, I remember this. And God bless the woman's soul, but... <laughs> Not to get deep, but to get deep. No, um, yeah. So the first night, I was I was six years old mm -hmm. when I went into placement. And actually, I was told that this was going to be like a, a like a playground. I was at a daycare center. Oh, really? This was the, like, the bluff. Really? So they, <laughs> they told me that I was going to a daycare center. And I remember walking in and being like, oh, okay, cool. You know, I saw kids playing. You know, people were doing a lot of things. Yeah. Bike, it looked yeah. fun, actually. Yeah. Um, so the bluff worked for the, the beginning. Bluff, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And um, around like 7.30, 8 o'clock, I was like, you know, I'm trying to go home. Yeah. You know, I, I don't, what's up? Like, <laughs> what a car. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get up out of here. Yeah. 
Um, and then we had that conversation where the lady was like, uh, we need to we need to talk. Yeah. And anytime you hear those words, I don't care who you are, the we need to talk words is always the, you know, uh stomach wrenching, like yeah. what do you want to talk? I don't even know you, lady. Like yeah. Yeah. um so to answer your question, it was the next day. Really? I cried on this lady's shoulders for probably I, I don't know, maybe like nine hours. That's wild. I was so sad because they had just informed me that this was my new place. Really? And I didn't realize it until I'm standing in line with the rest of my new brothers. Mm-hmm. And there's 15 kids to a cottage. Mm-hmm. So shout out to the house keeper. Yeah. But um, there's 15 kids to each cottage. Yeah. So the next morning when I woke up, I was really in line, abiding by the rules yeah. of this new program. And that was hard. That was extremely rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you, you learned to love... Yeah, it took a little while. Yeah. Actually, I went through the stage of anger. Did you? Yeah. You, I was, you saying I was anger is insane because you're the nicest guy. Word. I'm a big, I am literally the biggest teddy bear in the world. That's really insane. Um, I was frustrated, yo. Yeah. Um, you know, I think, now, under, first of all, the bluff, that you ain't got a lot of me, but, it, you know, whatever. But the bluff of, like, my mom being my best friend. Yeah. Why did you let this happen to me? Yeah. So the first step was anger and I was a little terror, man. Like, yeah, I was, yeah, I was rough. <laughs> yeah, I definitely was rough. Shout out to all the staff who had to deal with me. <laughs> Shout out to the they staff. Probably hate me. I ain't, yeah, nah, they love me now, but yeah. they'll, they'll tell you like, yo, this was an animal. But you would, you would respect, respectfully, like give yes. the thanks to the house of good. Shepherd. Absolutely, any, any day of the week. I mean, now as I'm older, I understand like, yo, they they actually saved my life. Really, yeah. and that's why everything's so like now is so. It's way beyond like music. It's just yeah. way beyond anything. Yeah. Like these people didn't have to do that. No. But where my mom was and where life was and yeah. what they wanted for me. Yeah. But they saved my life and I, I owe them everything, actually. I love that. Um, yeah, amazing people. I but that. I didn't see it till after. After I went through the anger stage, yeah. the denial stage, mm-hmm. the depression stage, mm-hmm. strong depression, mm-hmm. not feeling wanted, not mm-hmm. feeling accepted, feeling like an outcast. And then I went to, these are my brothers. Yeah. I'm going to fight for us. Yeah. And that's exactly what my, as I got older, before I was a rapper, artist, entrepreneur, whatever, I was actually like an advocate. Like I used to advocate for all of the kids, 360 kids that I live for. Really? I was their voice. I was really? their, like their president. Yeah. Yeah. I was like 12. <laughs> well, that's like, good though. Walking in there like I was the boss. That's crazy. Like, Hold up. This, this is the follow up question. The follow up yeah. question literally says, you give off you give off such boss yeah, no, aura. No doubt, no doubt. When did you who did you watch like maybe on TV or somebody in front of you personally? Who did you watch that you were like, you know what, I'm gonna be a CEO, create my own business, and move forward with that process? Uh Puffy. Puff Daddy. Diddy? Diddy and then Jay. Yeah. So I gotta tell this this goes in increments. Yeah. Because Puffy was fly, he was flamboyant, yeah. know, he had his little, you know, swag and, and I didn't understand Jay Z when I was like twelve. <laughs> I didn't get it. I didn't get what he was saying. Yeah, he was so advanced for me. He was. But Puffy and Mace spoke at that like small bus level. <laughs> like, small bus, so like I can understand. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, The yeah. slow lingo, the yep. laid back low yep. flow. Uh, but Jay was more like as I got older, Jay started talking more of what I was mm-hmm. like living. Yeah. And he, you know, they introduced the whole, I'm a CEO and I'm a rapper. Yeah. And to me, that was fly. Like to own it, 
Yeah. Like not to rent it, but to own it. Yeah. That mentality came in at the age of 14. Mm, early. I was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, you know what? I'm tired of renting things. I'm tired of this and that. So I started selling like bubble gum. <laughs> I started selling like dirty socks. Oh, so you were hustling? Yeah, I was just like selling dirty socks to other residents oh, with their man. name on it. I was like, nah, don't worry about that. Like, you know, we'll get you another. <laughs> oh, man. Because we, yo, we used to have like, um, we used to, every month, yeah. We used to have like purchase orders of POs, yeah. and they would like you know buy us clothes and stuff. So mm-hmm. we you know we stay fly or whatnot. And uh, so I used to sell like mad stuff. Yeah, yeah, dude. I, I would sell you oxygen if I could. That's funny. yeah. I was I was definitely doing that. That's it. Yeah, funny. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> what does Loyalty Nation mean to you? That's your business. Um, Loyalty Nation was created your brand. Because, nah, yeah, it was created because I wanted to create a family I never had. Mm-hmm. So it's it's a family. It's opportunity. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's love. Yeah. It's acceptance. Um, it's understanding. Yeah. You know, I don't. I think one of the things that I stand for is love, and brotherhood, and and family. Um, I love it. Uh, it's and it's 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 open to everybody. Yeah. You know, growing up, I grew up with a melting pot of brothers. Yeah. So like. You know, I had all types of brothers at the table with mm-hmm, me, mm-hmm. and there were some different, you know, there's some different orders in the yeah, room, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. different, you know. Uh, so, like, as I grew up, I realized that, like, you know what, I'm going to fight and stand for anybody in the world that might feel the depression. Yeah. I want to open up opportunity for anybody who might feel like they don't have a voice or they don't have anything yeah so we started music and then you know we started the clothing mm-hmm. um and really the dress code I, I remember talking to my man josh shout out to josh i remember talking to josh one time and i said to him i said you know i wanted to start dress clothes yeah because i wanted people to you know when you, you look good you feel good you do good yeah so i wanted to do something other than just t-shirts and hoodies mm-hmm. i wanted something that when you had a job interview or you're going out to lava because i love partying <laughs> uh that you had something that you could wear yeah. that was fly, that was classy, yeah. and that was bossy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I didn't see anybody. It's a clean shirt you got on oh, right yeah. now. Oh, it's yeah, a clean yeah. shirt. I'm trying to match you, actually. <laughs> I'm calm. I'm, I'm calm talking about right it, now. You know I mean? I'm calm. So, um, but I just wanted to use my uh, my ability to lead in, in into a positive direction yeah. and then try to help the next king develop himself or mm-hmm. herself yeah. as well. Because at the end of the day, all we got is each other. Exactly. Not yeah. not enough people actually know that or yeah. want to believe that. But at the end of the day, we're yeah. if you really think about it, I was having this conversation the other day. If you really think about it, like if you don't involve religion, which I involve religion and everything. Understand. understand. If yes. you don't involve religion for a second, we're legit on a globe. Yeah. Making up rules for each other. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Why can't we help each other? Come on. That's, that's good. Yeah, sounds good to me. But Everybody just wants to be on top of the other right. person. But then right. they'll say some wise words, but then they still want to be on top of that person. Right, right. It's not genuine. Uh, right, exactly. Yeah. And I think, too, like, coming from what I come from, I'm st- yo, I'm still the guy who will roll up his sleeves mm-hmm. and go go dig dirt with my people. Exactly. I never, I, I'm, I'm just a human like everybody else. Exactly. Some people, you know, they look at me like, oh, you know, I'm like, dude, I'm just another human like you are. Yeah. You know, I'm not any better than anybody. Um, and in fact, I think you're only as strong as your leader. Yeah. And I like, if your team is winning, yeah. if your kings and the people are winning, then we're winning. Literally. And that's more important than anything. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's a us. It's never a me. It's a we thing. Mm-hmm. And I think that's something that I've I've learned over the years. So when did you start your love for music? Um, when I, well, I didn't want to go to jail. Um and is, is that your uh, yeah that's probably my phone blasting uh, <laughs> my apologies you're good um uh, but uh yeah because you know I'm running <laughs> oh you can't hear it <laughs> okay okay my apologies um, <laughs> the phone went off <laughs> the busy man yeah no doubt that I probably yo come to now I'm not coming I'm not coming to work now stop <laughs> um, but um I think when I needed an outlet because I couldn't do things I wasn't really a, a drawer um. And I love music. Mm-hmm. And I actually uh, was rapping about a peanut butter jelly sandwich <laughs> on, a, on a slice of bread. Something about your mom's got out of special ed. And That's I was like, funny. That is so funny. weird. That is I was funny. definitely the napkin ra- rapper. Yeah. You know, I was like on my Early hands. Early on. Yeah, definitely. Writing on bathroom stalls. Yeah. <laughs> Hope I don't get in trouble. <laughs> but, you know, um, 
I, I needed something, bro. I needed something to vent. Yeah. Because I was going through a lot of emotional pain. I was going. I didn't. I didn't feel a self worth. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like I'm at it. Yeah. Honestly. And you know, there's plenty of suicidal attempts. Um, there was plenty of nobody wants me. Yeah. So <clears throat> when I started pouring out my music, I. I noticed that one of my songs was called Nothing to Lose. I do. I remember this perfectly. Mm -hmm. I had just left what we had, what was called a, a retreat speak out. Yeah. And what that was, was it was all agencies across the region. Remember I said I was like a representative? Mm -hmm. So they had like this poetry contest thing. And I remember <clears throat> writing a song called Nothing to Lose. I was really on the edge. I was yeah. ready. I was yeah. ready. I was like, you know what? There's nothing. I don't No. No girls want me. Yeah. Nobody wants me. So I'm like, all right. So I wrote the pain that I felt. Yeah. Um, that same, that same, actually, excuse me. The week after, I recorded it at Castle Recording Studio, which is now in South, it's in South Utica. It's on, okay. Um, it's called Blue Jay Records or something like that now. But back then, and when it was recorded, I had a couple friends of mine that worked at PNR, which was the Utica College radio station at the time. Oh, really? oh yeah, WPNR. Uh, yeah, WPNR. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's what they were called. <laughs> um, yeah. So we played a record, yeah. and the kids at the House of Shepherd all listened to it as they went to bed that yeah. night. So the next morning, no lie, no lie, I couldn't walk in the door because all the kids were like, yo, I really relate to that song. And they could not, they would not let me in the classroom. In right. fact, there was like a, like a mini riot. In the in the facility at the time because they were all like trying to like talk to me about really? it. And a couple girls ran up to me, started rapping. It were girls yeah. were like spitting it to me That's and like, fine. yo, I went to sleep on this. And I just saw the impact of my story impacting somebody else's story. That's fine. And I was like, okay, so this is what we're doing. Okay. This is what we're doing. <laughs> this <laughs> okay. is my mission. This is what I'm doing. I love that. So yeah, nah, it was crazy. You I, found your love for it. I did. And I found it because I was actually helping somebody else out. Mm -hmm. By me, like, unfortunately, my pain becomes someone else's gain. Yeah. And it worked. <laughs> yeah. No, that's that's usually how it goes. Crazy. When, when you When you're a giving person, that's yeah. usually how it goes. Yeah. When you're a caring person, at least. It also sucks, too. I'm not going to lie to you. No, it definitely you sucks. Know, it, it has its moments where definitely I'm just like, sucks. man. Like, why would you? Again, I, I shot a video with uh, Josh, and I mm -hmm. said, yo, and it was a song was called Self-Reflection. But in the in the middle part, I said, yo, why would you take something I would have gave to you? <laughs> Say it again. Like, why would you take something I would have just gave to you? I'll say it to that camera. Why would you take something I would have just gave exactly. to you? Exactly. I, I don't, the logic in that is ludicrous. It makes no sense. Right. Like, <laughs> I'm just appalled by Wow. That. I love that so much. <laughs> Anyways, um, moving forward, I have this question for you. Yeah. Not many people are like you in this sense where you're open to tell me, like, I met you the first, like, the first two times I met you, yeah. you're open to tell me that you love me. Yeah. Why nice. are you so... Men are not like that. Yeah, no doubt. Like you're like, yo, bro, I love you. I love what nah, you're doing. I love talk. you, bro. You're I a good love man. When you move, absolutely. I, I think it's important to identify how you feel. First of all, I'm not gay. Just put that out there. <laughs> not, not the and it's okay if you were. It is, yeah. yeah, I love. But I love I'm all my people. General, yeah, yeah. Like, um, I love your aura. I love because I do. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> like right, right, like yeah. like I, you know, they say uh, we say good, you know, people who are meant to be find each other. Yeah. So you remind me a lot of me. Exactly. And um, that's real king stuff. Mm -hmm. And you, we all like to be around good vibe people. That's all I'm surrounded by. I don't like that. There's no need. First of all, there's no need for negative vibes. No. But I would delete that vibe. You, from my, you from my have, space. yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> you have always encouraged kingness, growth, yeah. and love, bro. Like it's like a. Uh, <laughs> You're like a pure drink. <laughs> like, like not, you know, like, you never drink that water that's just like, oh. Refreshing. I, I, like I feel what you're you saying. The analogy, I feel what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, you have always been nothing but that. Yeah. And it's been consistent. Yeah. Since, like, I've seen you and met you. Yeah. And I like how you are. Yeah. But thank you, brother. Yeah, I like just like thank how you are. It's, like, it's, your aura. A lot of people are, perfect, a lot bro, of people like, are nice. Yeah. On camera or right. on Twitter or on Facebook right, right, or right, right. on Instagram, but not nice in person. Nah, nah. I'm the same person on and off. Yes, like, you are. Yes, you are. I definitely, don't get me wrong, I'm definitely mad sometimes. Absolutely. Though. I definitely you're, you're get human. angry. I definitely get in my yeah, introvert yeah, yeah. mode. And For sure. Josh gets it a lot because I talk him to, to Josh and Twist. Twist, not really because. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not, yeah, not really right, Twist. Right, right. So Josh, I talk to Josh a lot. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Josh gets the bad mode sometimes, but I always apologize because that's just who I am. Nah, no doubt. And I can speak on behalf that Josh loves you as his brother and yeah. you are his brother. Yeah, that's my and, dog. Yeah, he's a good people. That's definitely. my dog. Shout out to Josh Gross. Yeah, shout out to Josh. <laughs> and you know what, Josh? I, just to give a shout out, like, 
So I was I work out in the middle of the country. Yeah. Like deep, like Barnville area. Shout out to UCP. Um, Shout out to UCP. Right, right. Show me love out there. I love him. That's dope. One of so a couple of my coworkers are the ones that referred me to Josh. And when I met Josh, he was so. I, I do got a story to say though. So on the ride back from the music video, I, I snore really loud, okay, and I fall asleep uncontrollably fast. Anybody who knows me know I am a grizzly bear. Yeah. So Josh is talking. And then <laughs> all of a sudden he looks over. And I'm like hibernating on the bed, like oh, or no. in his car. And he's like, "Dude, what? what like what? Like what happened?" <laughs> I'm lying, Josh. I'm lying. He's not lying. <laughs> Mid conversation, <laughs> bro. We was having a great talk, and I look over, and he's knocked, bro. <laughs> ah. Like knocked. And you know how like when people fall asleep, especially your first time around them. When I dropped him off, he was still asleep. And I was scared to wake him up because you don't know how people <laughs> yeah, are going to react. react. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Eh, he a big dude. <laughs> and I ain't trying to get hit. Yo, so he's like like tapping me like just to see like if I don't know yeah, how he's going to yeah, react. Yeah, yeah. So then the next time we shot the video, he looked over at me. He was like, yo, bro, um... Just don't fall asleep. On me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm way back. Please don't fall asleep on me, bro. I don't remember if I did or not. No, but he didn't. I did. Nah, I did. Okay, I was good. Did. On that's me. funny though. Yeah, he was not trying to poke the bear. He was like, uh, I don't know what. I just met this guy. No, bro, that's He's how hibernating it, my that's car. How it is. That's <laughs> how it is. So, I love that. bring it back. Yeah, my apologies. You had a, you had a couple uh you had a couple interviews I've seen. You yeah. you've been on. I've been couple. On I've been here for a minute, yo. Yeah. Yo, um, so. Bro, I've been here for a, I've been here for a long time. You were also yeah. on the Utica Phoenix yeah, yeah, newspaper yeah. front absolutely. page. Yeah, just your face. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and yeah. then two pages inside the newspaper. Amazing. Shout out talking to them. about your 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 story is different. That, yeah, it is. I I wonder. Yeah, because I I have I've been here for a long time. Yeah, and I've been watching a lot. Yeah, you know, and I've been growing a lot. I you know I think I think in this business I had a lot of rough. Uh, beginnings, yeah. Um, but I think that's that's the beauty of life. Like it's progress. Yeah, yeah. you got to learn from the mistakes. But at least I'm trying. I yeah. jumped out there and I tried, and I fell. I fell. Yeah, I definitely fell. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I burned a lot of bridges, and I also made a lot of bridges. Yeah. Um, but bro, I've been here for a while, and I've been, you know, I've been growing. I did the very street thing. Yeah. I did, you know, all of the the right moves. Mm -hmm. Um. I think now I'm in a position where like I'm you know I'm I'm more polished. Yeah. You know, I'm a little more experienced with the, you know, hanging out the interviews, I'm yeah. a little more experienced yeah. with marketing. Yeah. I'm a little more experienced with developing a plan and just growing. Mm -hmm. But I think it's okay. I think it's okay to grow. Yeah. I mean, some people are like, "Man, you've been here for a long time." When you when you love doing something, there's no time frame. No, exactly. It's just you love doing it. I love yeah. doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I love giving back. I love seeing people smile. I don't, I'm snoring. I'm working on it. <laughs> I just bought a sleep apnea machine. Sorry. Did so, you? So, yes, I did. Is it, it working? It's terrible. Is I it feel, loud? It's loud, and I feel like Darth Vader. Yeah. And I got to get, like, an extended hose because, like, I like to turn. I'm a big guy. So <laughs> I like to toss and turn, and the yeah. rope will rope around me. If, I, if it's small, oh, I'm only limited to a yeah. certain thing. You know, so wait, would you would you recommend it for anybody that's going? Through? I got a friend that's probably worse than you. Um, Sleep. yeah, I would, I would, I would because you, your first of all, health is wealth. We talked yeah. about that. Mm -hmm. Second of all, I do feel refreshed. Yeah. I just gotta, you gotta, you gotta adjust it to you. Mm -hmm. You gotta find it to you okay. personally. Um, but yeah, I, I would recommend it. There's also different things too. Like there's nose. Strips. Yeah. You don't need the 100 percent big mask yeah. to like, you know. But um, if you can do it, I would do it. Yeah. Because you know, um, you're not sleeping or hibernating the way I do. <laughs> is it's funny, but it's really not. Healthy, <laughs> I could have been them chicken wings too. Shout out to them chicken wings. I don't really know, but got you. Yeah, so, so on top of that, what I seen you ask this in when one of your uh, episodes on your channel, you yeah. said. Um, you got to have a why. What's your why? Um, you. My why is my you. So I do this for you. Okay. You know, um, I again, the mission, actually, actually, it's not about me. Yeah. I get to be the face and the ditty and I get to do all that. But the reality of it is I tell my story to help benefit your story. Okay. Right? So now my pain, again, is your game. Hopefully, right? Yeah. The smart ones will take what I pass down to them. Yeah. 
and be like, yo, he's spitting jewels to us. Yeah. Like Hove, right? Yeah. We talk about Hove. Let's, yo, come on, we off that. Yeah. We trying to own companies. Yeah. You know, would you rather rent or would you rather own? Exactly. You want to pay rent a center all that money? No. Of course. You want to own the stuff that Ownership's you have. Ownership's big. And it is. And Bitcoin and making boss moves yeah. and stocks. So these guys are teaching us. And then I'm just, you know, passing on what my knowledge to the next, to the next person, whether it's a younger generation or if it's an older generation. Because mm-hmm. guess what? Us guys that come from what I come from, they still got problems too. Exactly. They still go through a lot and they still go through their depression. Yeah. And now they have kids. Yeah. So psychologically, if you think about it, they never really fully grew up either. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like there's sometimes where I feel like we always know that we're always learning. Yeah. Right? We're always evolving. Not everybody thinks that, but yeah. True, right. You should be wanting to evolve, always learn. grow. And and you want to make mistakes. Yeah. Sometimes you want to walk through the fire. You got to understand the burn. You want to go through that. So I think now it's just important for people to see your pain, your growth, mm-hmm. and your success. Yeah. Yo, you, for anybody listening, you really can achieve anything you want to achieve. They're listening. They're watching. They're listening. Yeah. Nah, seriously, yo. I mean, my anything that I offer my soldiers, anybody that is in the loyalty, I always tell them, develop a plan. Yeah. Figure out what you want to do, how you want to do it, who's going to help you get to your goal. Yeah. Stay focused. Yeah. Bro, because we all know there's, there's so many distractions out here. There's many. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, like, when I was growing up in an orphan home, one of the biggest things that I learned, I said, yo, because, you know, there's fights, right? Mm-hmm. We're not perfect, right? And I had a friend tell me, he was like, yo, if you know that this person is trying to stop you from growing or succeeding or getting you upset, yeah. why would you let them? Yeah. Like, why would you give someone else more control over yourself yeah. than you? Yeah. You feel me? I, I feel like I'm preaching. No, no, I, I want you I, to okay. preach, though. Yeah, yeah, keep going. I just feel like like that to me is just like, that's like simple logic. Yeah. Well, maybe it's simple for me, but yeah. I just think like you you have to, you got to like have a direction. Yeah. Right? Because party, that's great. Yeah. Smoking weed, well, to each his own. Yeah. But- my thing is, what about after the fact? Yeah. You know, what happens after you go home, after the party, mm-hmm. after you met so-and-so, or whatever the situation may be, now what? Now you're left in a room, or you're left by yourself, or exactly. you're left with those afterthoughts. Yeah. Like After I, feelings. I got, everybody has to go through the, the, the idea of, like, what am I doing with my life? Yeah. Everybody has to ask that question. Mm-hmm. Like, right? Like, what are you doing with your life? Yeah. Yo, you one, of, be, one of the one of the moments that you sit and those come to you, those thoughts come late to you. nights. Yeah, I'm definitely a, a Drake. I'm sensitive. I'm definitely a Drake late night drive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm definitely like uh, I just got a, a Lincoln with the sunroof now, mm-hmm. so I'm definitely a. a so there's a place out here. It's called Star Hill, mm-hmm. and I'm definitely the guy who sits there and just kind of says, "Okay, mm-hmm. all right, here's a milestone for you. Yeah, what's your next move? Yeah." You know, like the billboard. The I'm on, billboard that's out. Yeah, right. yep. I'm on a billboard in Rome, New York. I'm humble, but I'm proud. It looks right? really I'm, nice. Thank you. And Josh, it's classy, classy. Josh, Josh calls me yeah. and says, "Check, check loyalty's billboard." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. Um, I'm proud. I worked hard for that. But it's those moments. Okay, so what's your next move? Yeah. It gotta be better gotta than your be last better, move. Better than my last move, right? Yep. So gotta it's just better. important that like I understand that, and I understand like, or people understand like you you should want to grow because mm-hmm. you don't want to be fifty years old still in the same spot, and you yeah. look back and be like, dang, yeah, right? Because time is the only thing we can't take back. Exactly. So what are we doing? Like, exactly. what are you doing? Exactly. You know, I met a lot of rappers, and obviously, shout out to everybody who does the music. I love it because I think. Upstate and Josh gives a lot of shout outs, but Upstate has so much talent. Mm-hmm. And I think that's great. Great. But what are you doing with it? Yeah. You can have a thousand and a million views. That's great. You're talented. Wonderful. But what moves are you making to better your company, your business, yourself? Yourself. Mm-hmm. And I think that's sometimes what we miss, yeah. right? Like we get caught up on the views. Cause honestly, online, I don't have as many views as, you know whatever but yeah. in real life i'm this guy yeah 
You know, in real life, I'm, uh, yeah, it's real. Authentic. Authentic, for sure. Re- 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 like, respectfully, yo, authentic. Yo, and I would rather be authentic than, than to have all these views and, and just be somebody I'm not. Yeah. Like, what I'm saying right now is a thousand percent real. Yeah. They know it, too. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they they know it, too. I love it. I got I another it. question for yeah, you. Yeah, also, yeah. What do you say to the kid that feels like an outcast? You're not. And you have a place and you belong. Mm-hmm. And don't ever feel that way. First of all, you're a religious man, right? Yeah. Satan is a lie. And Satan is out here, for those who believe in that, Big right? Big lie. He's a lie. And he will tell you that you're alone, you're mm-hmm. worthless, and nobody cares. That's, that is a false statement to the highest degree. Yeah. Not only do you have value, but you're a king or queen, yeah. and the world is yours. Yeah. Take over. You know what? Use your pain. Find something constructive. Um, you know, for those guys who don't, maybe they may not have a big brother. They may yeah. not. I mean, I'll be your big brother. True. You can call me, hit me up, loyaltiesnation.com. Seriously, I'm not even lying. Like, you could message me, and I'll really be there for you. Yeah. You know, and that's something that I take on, but nobody's an outcast around me. Matter of fact, people who feel like outcasts have a place. So now you're no longer an outcast. Exactly. Now you're part of the if family. You really, if, you're, if, you're, if you're thinking you're an outcast, there's right. more people that think that they're an outcast yes. than they think they're in the in crowd. Right. And the people that feel like they're in the in crowd are still trying to get in the in crowd. Right. Either way, you still belong somewhere. Exactly. You have a value. Exactly. I agree with this. I, I, I've had these talks <laughs> with many this. people. I have talked yeah, to many yeah. people where they, they come to me and they just say, yo, Rich, I don't know where, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know where I belong. I'm just like, that's the first part. Like, Absolutely. I wish I was back in that part because now I'm on, a, I'm on a path where I know I want to do. Right. And now you're always pushing yourself to Absolutely. be better. But Absolutely. now when you don't know what you want to do, you have so much space to learn what you like. Talk to me. Yeah. And, and just to piggyback that, that again goes with, okay. Have a plan. Yeah. You don't know what you want to do. What do you like? You got to yeah. chop this down. You got to break it down. You got to break it down for yourself. Yeah. Okay, well, you like to fish. All right, well, we're going to start putting fishing on your scheduling. Yeah. You know, let's, or you need a job. Well, you, first you need a haircut. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Whatever. Right? I'm, just, I'm going with yeah, you. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like my little soldier's like. Appearance. Um, Yes, you gotta look good. Look yeah. good, feel good, do good. Let's get everybody your around me knows yeah. we dress to the T everywhere we go. You got to, and if you don't, to. I'm gonna give you my clothes. Absolutely. Because they right now represent you. Yeah. In a way, right? Like this yeah. is the family, the law, the shout out to the law. This is the family. This is the movement. So yeah. what you do, you're representing, and that is important that I you, re- I represent them and they represent me. Talk to me. So respectfully. Absolutely. Let's keep it. G. Classy, that's right. I was trying to rhyme. Hey, hey, Jeez. Jeez. I haven't I haven't been in the booth in a while, guys. Yeah. Although I did see a video, shout out to you guys, yo. I, you guys can blow. You guys definitely get to spit some hot shit. <laughs> I, I didn't know y'all could rap like that. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, Ooh, yeah, yeah. I'm a singer though. Maybe that's that. Maybe that's that. Love. Love. We're gonna do a collab. Shout <laughs> out to that. Yeah, yeah. Especially this guy. Oh man. Shout out to Grouse. Shout out to Grizzle. Um, <laughs> how important are the people surrounding you? I know we just touched on that. Yeah, really, no, but. I think that is crucial. Yeah. I think you. I think you personally had said something that was amazing. If, yo, positive vibe only. If you not a positive person, I don't want you around me. At all. If you got a negative feeling, I don't want you around me. Yeah. You know, if there's any, you're something from. Uh, yo, if you if you are anywhere negative, no negativeness. I think the your your support your your support team is the most important thing. Yeah. In this business, in life, and in the workplace. Yeah. I think that that is so important. Um, because you know why? Because you're gonna need each other. You're going to have those days where you're yeah. like, you know what? Yo, I'm not really feeling it today. Like, yeah. today's not my day. Or or my ego might be big. But all right, bro. <laughs> can't fit in the door right now. <laughs> Relax. Yeah, Relax. <laughs> Relax. You know yeah. So I think, like, that having your brother hold you accountable, mm-hmm. but also knowing that your brother has your best interest yeah. and has your back. So so how do you... How do you uh Decipher. I test them. No, how do you, how do you, this, this is the question for you. There's people that have your back and that yeah. want to tell you, bro, you shouldn't do that. And then there's people that are telling you, bro, you shouldn't do that. And they're hating on you because they don't want you to start mm. something. How do you, so how do you decipher? I, I think trial and error. Yeah. I think there is, yeah, I think there's a strong balance of. There's people, there's people that are your friend, but they're right. negative about of every course. idea that you come up with. Yeah. Everything I, you think of, they're just like, nah, you shouldn't try it. I I think if they're any negative, they're not my friend. Because mm-hmm. any of my friends know, just like you, mm-hmm. any of my friends know, like, yo, we're not doing that today. Yeah. If you, yo, there's a way you can respectfully disagree. Yeah. 
but also understand both points of views. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, big in this house is perspective. Yes. That's the word that I use like, all the time. Where are you coming from? Right? Yeah. Like, what's your angle? Yeah. Why is that? Okay, a why, the why is, again, the biggest question. Yeah. Well, why do you feel that way? Yeah. Why are you doing this? Yeah. Why are you, you know, whatever. So, I don't know. Me personally, I think um, if you ne- if you're negative in my team, I, you are not gonna be in my team. Yeah. If you have an argument, respectfully, we could discuss that. Yeah. But I want to know your substance, and I also want to know that it's not coming from a, a a place of hurt, yeah, anger, upsetness, yeah. Because like if it's a girl situation, no, nah, I don't do that. <laughs> I do that because you know how like all right, you you upset, you don't like him because you know whatever yeah. metaphorically, right? Like you don't like him because. But he's dating your ex. Well, you're not dating her anymore. Mm. You don't know him. Mm. You let that go. Mm. Well, you, oh, oh, you still got feelings for her. Yeah. That's, oh, you're in denial. Yeah. So whose fault is it really right now? Yeah. So don't be mad at the next man because yeah. you're hurting. Yeah. Like, just be honest with yourself. Bro. Be honest with yourself. And <laughs> if you really do feel a way, don't be like, yo, go talk to her. I don't care. Nah, don't Be do honest that. with yourself, bro. <laughs> if you don't want to do to talk to your shorty. Facts, bro. Don't bro. say, go, yo. yo, go talk to her. Yo, cause dude's that, gonna do it. Yeah, yo, honestly, and quietly, your friends are gonna know like you, you lying, bro. Yeah, like, you heavy, lying. Heavy, heavy, <laughs> We're gonna sit here and heavy. be like, yo, you're hurt right now. <laughs> you're hurt right now, but it's okay. You'll get back, right? You'll and that's back. what you need your friends for. Yeah. Your good company yep. to support you. Yeah, and know in that time, you need somebody yep. to hold you accountable. Yeah, okay. If you were to be mentored by these out of these people, who would you pick? Mm. Here we go, Master P, P Diddy. Jay Z, Drake, Kanye, Hove. Really? I'm going with Jay all day. <laughs> Shout out to Master P though. Yeah. I'm not gonna front with Master, Master P. Well, I'm not messing man. with Diddy. Diddy's Diddy's amazing. Um, I always looked at Bad Boy and, and Rockefeller like, yeah. Okay, so Bad Boy Puffy had a different way of doing things. Yeah. The way Puffy does things is like, I set a plan. You're gonna follow the golden plan mm-hmm. that I set for. I'm the boss. I'm the law. Yeah. Well, I feel like Hove is like. Nah, he don't sign rappers. He signs artists. Yeah. And the creativeness, yeah. you know, he's going to allow you to be you. Yeah. Puffy wanted to like, yo, think about it. Every bad boy artist had a clean cut. Yeah. They all sound like Mace or Loon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They were pretty boys. Yeah. Like, they had a certain image where like J. Cole, he's cr- look crazy, but he's number one. Yeah. You know, you got Rihanna and all those other guys yeah. who are, you know, they're their own artists or artistry. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm going with Hove. I'm going with Hove all day. Okay. It's the rock. I love it. So we got some personality questions for yeah. you. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Check it out. Uh, there used to be rapid questions, but now they're called uh, uh, personality questions because I've been asking why, and that doesn't make sense if they're rapid. So uh, now right. here are their personality questions for you, dog. Gotcha, <laughs> What's something in this world you'd love to fix? Um, my relationship with my mother. Mm. That, to me, is the biggest. So you did eventually meet your mother? I did. Um, After... So many years of not seeing my mom, I think that's, that's d- despite everything else, mm-hmm. right? Taking the music, take the clothing, take the shoes, yeah. take all the entrepreneur. I think my mom and me need to build those lost feelings. Yeah. And I think that I want to love her. I, so my mom told me she loved me, right? Mm-hmm. And I said to her, I said, mom, I don't really know you. To say that I love you back. Jeez, that's tough to say. It is, right? Because she's your mom, but she's a stranger. Yeah. So I, I don't believe you should tell somebody you love them if you don't mean it. Mm-hmm. I think that that, I think we've lost uh, strength in that word, yeah. love. Yeah. And we just kind of like, yo, I love you. Nah, bro, I really love you. I That's really love. love you. Like, I really care. Yeah. I mean, there's different levels, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think when it comes to that, I just, I want to. I want to love you. Yeah. I want to know you, and I want to. I want you to be proud of me. Yeah. So yeah. Now nah, after long years, my uh, Mother's Day, a day after Mother's Day, I went and saw my mom, and we had that dialogue. Yeah. But it was too, too close. Too too. Uh, it wasn't ready yet. Okay. But I tried it, yeah. and then I cried, and it hit me differently. Yeah. Went home. I actually left early. Yeah. I need to. But I went home, and I said, okay, I'm, I wasn't ready. But yeah. I took a swing. I missed. Yeah. So then today, uh, I went up there, and um, we had a beautiful—we actually prayed together. That's love. 
And I haven't done that in so long. That's love. I almost for, forgive me, but I almost forgot like praying at supper. Yeah. And she led with a prayer. She held my hand so tight. Yeah. Uh, and I think the, that right there was like, that's that's the most important right now to me. That's love. Yeah. I love that. That was a beautiful answer. Yeah, sorry. That was I a mean, beautiful answer. Deep, bro, no, no, no. That's how I'm that's how the loft real, is. Like, the loft is not yeah. fake. It's all. I want, I want to all love real. her so much, but you know. Yeah. Would you rather go back to a certain moment in your past or see into the future? Um. Great question. I don't regret nothing that happened in the past because I think all everything, you know, created who I have become and yeah. become me. Yeah. So to answer that question, I would, I, you know. Would you want to relive something? No. No? no. You want no. to experience new things? Yeah. I want to meet new people. I want to explore the world. And I don't regret anything that happened. It hurt. <laughs> yeah. You know, some of those lonely nights of not feeling wanted or loved, mm-hmm. that's a whole nother issue. Yeah. But I'm, I, I can deal with it now. Yeah. Right? I know how to deal with it. So... Um, yeah, nah, I would want to see the future. I want to see what's going on. Okay. I want to see who I'm going to marry. <laughs> Holly Bay, what up? What up, Holly? Just okay. Galba, what it look like? Would you Would you uh, rather be alone for a week or be surrounded by people for a week? Uh, oof. Um, I'm bipolar and I'm a Gemini. So, <laughs> I think... I like to be alone sometimes. Yeah. My solitude is like, all right, so as I'm getting older, silence is the loudest thing ever right now. To yeah. Me. Like, I actually, I'm like an old man. Like, Josh has been to my house. I don't know, I keep giving Josh a shout out, but so, like, in my <laughs> house, it's like so, like, you got the chairs, you got, you know, like, I come out in the bathrobes and, like, <laughs> flip over the newspaper. I got a phone, but yeah, I, like, yeah, you know, yeah, I just yeah. want the feel of, like, Elegance, yeah, like you know I what I mean. I, I want the feel of that paper, the yeah. newspaper, that like that growth. Yeah. Um, and I like to be alone sometimes. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm learning. The same way. I, too many people just kind of like, all right, oh, that's cool. Appreciate you. How you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna see you later. Yeah, see you later. I get on my like Obama. Like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> but behind this is like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> get away with me. Get away with me. Oh no, yeah. How you doing? You smell funny. <laughs> <laughs> Love you though. I um, my album. <laughs> top top three artists make two more two more questions. Two, top yeah, three artists. Yeah, yeah. Um, three. Top three. Can it be four? Oh, oh first of all, is it living or dying? Anything you want to say? Oof. Can it, can I can I add four? Can I just? You can make it five. Oh, five. All right, all right. Well, eight, six, six. I like even numbers. I'm like I'm I don't like six. So so let's do four. 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 All right, all right. Um, I'm gonna give. And they're artists, right? Yep. Obviously, Jay Z is a big, okay. big influence. I like Joe Budden. <laughs> That's interesting. I think Joe. Right Budden, now, it's interesting. To, it's, it's interesting to say, say that because that? Yeah. the whole podcast. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay interesting okay. to say that. So, um, I think Joe Budden is uh, an amazing artist. Shout out to Joe. Joe yeah, starts. Joe, yeah. yo, influenced me in a lot of ways. People would listen to what he says, and his story is is incredibly incredible. Strong. His music, his music is really deep as well. It is. Yo, that's the kind of music I want to make. Yeah. Like, that's... Um, I'm going to go with Fab. Shout Fab, out Fab. Fab. That's big. I like that. Consistent, stylish, cool. Yeah. I think he's a little underrated. Very. I don't think people give him his credit. New York definitely does. Definitely. Yeah, shout out to yeah. New York. Um, but I, I think Fab is probably um, one of my favorites. Um, I listen to... Yo, this isn't rap, but I listen to Journey. The band Journey. Really? Yeah. I listen Shout to, out to Journey. I, yeah. I, I've heard a couple tunes. Like, I tunes. like, I don't like just rap. Like, I'm more of like. I listen to everything. everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So I listen to literally that. anything. I listen to, I, if, if you came in early, I was bumping Frank Sinatra. Like, oh, okay. So Frank. Yeah. Oh, I got it. All right. So can I do five? You can do nine. All right, I'm going to do nine. What number am I on? <laughs> You're on four Even right now. Odd number I'm going. All right. So, all right. So, okay. So we got uh, Journey. I like uh, uh, who else? I like I like Frank Sinatra. Yeah, I like One Twelve, Jagged Edge. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a lover, man. Uh, Biggie, of course. Um, it's the bay between Biggie and Pac. Um, I think Biggie. I think a lot of people like see me a lot, and they're like, "Yo, you got that Biggie vibe," and that's yeah. cool. Pac, and that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. I, that's <laughs> you know, I'm grateful. Like, we respectfully respect that. Yeah. That's an honor. I, you know, I'm yeah. not trying to downplay it, but like, 
I think Pac had more of like a revolution. Yeah. Yeah. You saw all kinds of Pac. Yeah. So Pac, Mace, Puffy, now that I at Loon, I like Loon. The so um, bad boy roster. <laughs> thank you guys. <laughs> he was not okay, gonna no, stop. No, 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 he was that. not gonna stop. Like a lot. Wait a minute. Am I doing local artist tour or just you, regular? You can do whatever you Yo, want. I love everybody. I mean, right. You can do whatever you want. All right. I, all right. So shout out to all the local artists too, because I like Naz. I like I like Nazi. a lot of Nazi. I like King. Nazi. I like Big C. I like all the artists. I like Joe Monte. Obviously, I give shout him a out lot to of, Joe. Um, I like uh, my man Bugatti, Dez. I like Bugatti, all, I've heard him. Uh, yep. Bugatti's a man. Yep. Um, you know, I feel bad because he's like, oh, you didn't shout me out. Nah. But That's I like, why I don't like people naming. I don't like, because you get stuck because someone's going to text you and be, be like, like, yo, you didn't shout me just out. use this clip, what I'm saying. Yeah. He's sorry. R- respectfully. <laughs> <laughs> I love you all. Nah, yeah. I love you all. Um, I like anybody that's grinding and getting it. Yeah. Yo, I, I really respect um, a lot of the artists, and I like a lot of the younger too. The younger artists too. Yeah, my little soldiers are putting me on to like the drill music and all yeah. that too. So, yeah. In a few uh, words, in a few words, what would you say to someone that's attempted or thought about it or slipped their mind of suicide? What would you say to um, keep them going? Yo, don't never be embarrassed to ask for help. Mm-hmm. Like you not asking for help is a pride thing. Yeah. Yo, you're never alone. And nine times out of 10, most people have felt this sort of way. Yeah. So if that's something that you're thinking about, I always encourage you to go find someone to talk to. Yeah. I always encourage you. And if you feel like you don't have someone, you always have someone. Yeah. Like I've opened my line up for anybody. Yeah. Right. But <clears throat> get help. Yeah. Nah, because yo, when you're alone, you know, those thoughts come in. Yeah. The, the lights go off. Yeah. The different music is playing. You're yeah. motivated by the music now. Mm. The saying is real. And he's out here and he will continue to push you. And now you're alone corner. Yeah. And, yo, thoughts can slip. Yeah. And, you know, I, I always encourage somebody to get help. Go talk to somebody, you know. In those moments, it's definitely, you got to reach out. Got to reach out because... <clears throat> What you sometimes the feeling can be stronger than what you really want. Yeah. Sometimes you might just need a hug. Yeah. Or you might just need a person just to answer the phone. Yeah. And I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you, yo. There's times where like, yo, I call people, they don't answer. Yeah. There's a lot more outgoing calls than ingoing calls. Yeah. The phone works both ways. Yeah. You know, a, a very, you know, a real point. Yeah. Don't fight these battles alone. Because mm-hmm. sometimes it. Things, it can be stronger than you. Yeah. And you don't know it, though. Sometimes it's a team battle. Yes, yes. Yeah. And you're fighting it by yourself. Yeah. And, yeah, get help because it's a real thing. There's a real feeling, so. All right. I love that. Yeah. I love that. So now, <laughs> did you have fun? What? Man, this is like, I'll be here all day if you let me. <laughs> I don't know. What time do we have? Because, I, you know, I got some kicks. Hey, yo, listen, make sure y'all copy yep. the Latin Nation kicks. Um. Oh, I want to say one. I do want to say one. Add your last words, of course. First, thank you guys for just being the extended family. Yeah. Uh, shout out to the loft. Only authenticity comes here. Like you got to be authentic to be yeah. in this room. Definitely. Like, and that's such a big moment. And <clears throat> better yet, I love all of you guys, and I appreciate because I don't think this is just a. Uh, I don't think that I think the message in this is stronger than, you know, yeah. like what is actually going on is bigger. Um, and I'm honored, man. I'm so chill. I got to hang out with some of the coolest guys. You're a neat freak, and I love that. You see the place. I love the place. Okay. <laughs> you saw the candles. Yo, I saw the candles. <laughs> More importantly, I saw a swept hardwood floor. <laughs> I was very happy with yes, this. Yes. As I'm coming up the stairs, I'm yeah. like, Okay. The, the the loft like, is a very yeah. very cleanse. Yeah, it's just a nice neat place. I have OCD, so yeah, I just like it as clean. You should. And uh, I'm I also I got it from my mom where if you have guests over, the house should be clean. Amen. At at all points, at amen. all points in time, Yo, from when, your car to your to your to your crib. When Josh came to my crib, I was trying to feed this kid, and I gave him a shirt when he left. I gave him a dress shirt. <laughs> That's How love. was it? Was it a nice house? Was yeah. it? It was a nice place. Yes. Very organized, very yeah. neat. That's how it should be, though. I had a red room. Oh, I want to give a shout-out to the video that he shot. Is that yeah, cool? Yeah, of course. So Josh shot a video called Self-Reflection. Make sure you check that out on his page. Make sure you check me out, loyaltiesnation.com. Um, we, like, this is more than music. Yeah. And I think, oh, 
and I think advice to any artist I would give is have a plan and understand that 90% of this is a business. Yeah. So you can be great <clears throat> at making music. Yeah. But always ask yourself two questions. Why are you doing it? And then what are you doing with it? Yeah. I think if you can answer those two questions, I think you'll be yeah. very successful. Yeah. Uh, the third one to add to that is stay hydrated. That's my man. <laughs> Loyalty is staying hydrated. I love it. Stay, Yo, stay hydrated. How does wealth you taught me that? All, all we drink That's is it. water, water in man. This crib. Yo, I don't care what anybody says. Water quenches your thirst. Um, yeah, man. And uh, it, oh, it's my birthday today. I know I wasn't. <laughs> hey, you want to add it in? We can add it in. This usually happens if you don't want to get off. They just want to get, start throwing things in. What else do you want to add? Yeah, uh, you know, uh, I do want to say this. I do want to say this. Add it in, bro. Can I add it in? Is this cool? I, I apologize. <laughs> I, I apologize, but I don't. I do a lot. Hold on. Yo, so um, I got shout out to, oh, okay. So I have a volleyball team that plays Tuesdays and Shout them out, yeah. Um, I have a bowling team that um, won first place at Panorama in South shout Utica. Out. Shout out to Robert Evans. For uh, pretty much organizing that, I love that. I got a community, uh, a community nation um, center that I'm building as we speak. Really, with loyalty nation soldiers, we call them street soldiers now. Yeah. And what we're doing is we're going to the communities like JCTOD and all mm -hmm. that, and we're helping giving back to the communities. I love that. We're getting our hands dirty. Yo, we get to be flashy, but we also give back. Yeah, and I think that's important. Um, and uh, you're a businessman. Yeah, man. Uh, definitely. Definitely. I love that. I love that. I'm not a businessman. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, a businessman. Business man. <laughs> Come on. Oh, and we got new dress shirts. Oh, oh one more one last thing. So we're in the stores right now. The shirts are in the stores. They're in four stores location. They're in uh, two in Rome. Uh, they're like Habib shots. Yeah. I don't know if I can say that, but they're good people. Yeah. Um, uh, there are two in Rome, and then there's two. There's one in Syracuse, and uh, which is it's good. It's you know we're working on it. And then there's another one in like um, Ithaca. Yeah, and they're selling loyalty nation clothing as well as music, as well as posters. And uh, shout out to the Husky Shepherd. Shout out to every kid in the orphan. Shout out to all my people in jail too. Yeah. Let's not forget yeah. the men and women who are incarcerated. They're supposed to be reforming. Don't don't hate them when they yeah. come out. They're, exactly, like love. You know, um, and we all make mistakes. Some of us just haven't got cut. <clears throat> so it's important that they know that they're not forgotten. Exactly. Either. I have a lot That's of my important. boys that I just feel like they're just thrown to the side. Right. And I, and honestly, this is gonna sound terrible, and um, but you know when you're when you're released from jail, they trying to just kick you to the curb, they do. and then you're you're stuck out there. Yeah, you know, so I would feel that way too. Yeah, <laughs> if yeah. you know what I'm saying. No, so true. so shout out to the people in jail, and shout out to all the people who feel lost and broken. You have a place. No one ever feel alone. And again, guys, thank you for letting me ramble. I love it. No, you're you guys. good, bro. I love it. Make sure it. you check out the music. Where the can clothing. they find you? Just name a uh, loyaltiesnation.com. Okay. I have my own website and to boost my own ego. I got my own billboard too. Uh, <laughs> talk about it. Talk about it. <laughs> yeah. That's nah, love, man. I love it. And um again, another episode, another great conversation, yeah. another beautiful day, beautiful night. Um I just want to thank you for coming out, brother. You did great. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me. <laughs> you did water great. good. <laughs> <laughs> Chowing down. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, um, water. make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Yeah. Um, follow him. Yeah. The movement's important. I think what he's doing is important to have in this world. And uh, thank you. the little podcast. Yeah. We're out.